Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to my blockchain channel and today we're going to talk about what happens to your coins when a hard fork occurs. Will you lose your coins? Will you have two different coins with the same amount? Uh, is it dangerous to do transactions during a hard fork? There is so much information and uh, some of the information found online is a bit misleading. So that is why I'm making this video to make it more clear for you guys. So what will happen with your bitcoins, for example, if a bitcoin hard fork occurs? The simple answer is nothing. Uh, let me show you how it works. Uh, you have requested uh, for me to have um, visual aid, so today we have some visual aid. Uh, so let's imagine that this is a blockchain, this is the original Bitcoin blockchain. And we have blocks here, uh, like this. So, and so say that in this first block you received 100 Bitcoins, so R means received. And this doesn't need, doesn't uh, ha have to be Bitcoins. This could be Ethereum or some other blockchain. This is just a blockchain. And so in this uh, block, you had a transaction where you received 100 Bitcoins or Ethers or whatever blockchain you are on. And so in this block, you received 200. And in this block, you received 100. So here, after the third block, you have totally of 400 coins. And then a hard fork happens. What does it mean? It means that we, I hope you see, wait, let me just, okay, so a hard fork happens and this means that we just copy and paste everything that was before the hard fork to a new blockchain. So as you can see, we had 100, 200 and 100 here. So we just copy paste it to the new blockchain, 100, 200 and 100. So this means that you have now 400 coins in the first blockchain, in the original blockchain, but you also have 400 coins in the new blockchain. And all of the transactions that happen after the hard fork are uh, not, uh, uh, would not uh, be visible in the other blockchains. So let's, let's have an example. If you send 50 coins on the first blockchain after the hard fork, you would have 350 coins on the first blockchain, but you would still have 400 because this fifth minus 50 only happened here. So if you send a hundred on the second blockchain, you would have 300 left here. But so yeah, everything that happens after the hard fork is not visible on the on the other blockchain. So if you receive or send coins after this red line here, it will not be visible here and will not have any effect here. And the same thing, if you do something here, it will not be visible here. Uh, and so guys, as you understand, if you have uh, some Bitcoins or some coins in other blockchains and the hard fork happens, you will have the same amount of coins here and here. And everything you do after the fork will be in two different blockchains. And so the changes you do here will not be visible here and vice versa. So we have covered like the technical aspect of how it actually works. And in practice, you, uh, you don't need to do anything except uh, updating your client uh, if you have um, like a local, lo local wallet. Uh, however, guys, it's important to note that if you have your coins on, a, on an exchange or somewhere else online, maybe on Coinbase, you don't really have control over what happens to your coins. Maybe your online, uh, online uh, how do you say it, uh, exchange or where you store your coins, maybe they decide to not support this new blockchain for some reason. Uh, or maybe they don't give you the coins in bo both of the blockchains. Maybe they only give you the coins in, in the new blockchain and keep this, uh, these coins for themselves. Uh, however, the most uh, reputable and the most serious, uh, serious exchanges and coin um, storage sites like Coinbase, I'm not sure what you call them, like coin bank sites, they will give you access to both of the blockchains if they are serious. However, you don't really have any control over over this. So if you want to be 100% sure, 
sure that you will receive uh, coins in both of the blockchains and you want to have the control of uh, handling your coins yourself, you should do a local wallet or a hardware wallet and handle your uh, coins yourselves. So now we've covered the exchange problem that can occur and also exchanges might uh, might block all of the deposits and withdrawals when a hard fork occurs because they need time to adjust technically. They need to make sure that their users can accept both blockchains if they are serious. And they need to upgrade their own software and make sure everything works. So that is the reason why they might block uh, all of the deposits and withdrawals during a short period of time uh, after the hard fork. Uh, so let's talk about what happens to the price. I mean, if we have a Bitcoin blockchain like this, the original one, and then a new happens, how much will this be worth and how much will this be worth? Everything depends on how many people switch to the new blockchain. If this will be the majority blockchain, I think that the coins here will, uh, will quickly lose value because uh, they, they will be worse in every, in every way. They will be... They will have longer transaction time. They will have uh, there. There will be. They will be less secure because uh, most of the hashing power went here, and uh, there will be few fewer people accepting these old coins. So, in my view, this blockchain would have most of the value. However, it could be the case like in Ethereum and Ethereum Classic that the old chain still survives and have some value and has some value. Uh, but most probably the old chain will lose its value. And so you will have, uh, in terms of value, you will just have the same number of uh, coins and they will be worth uh, uh, approximately the same as they were back here. And those old coins will be worth, worth uh, around zero, would be my guess. However, we saw with Ethereum Classic, Ethereum Classic is still alive and they are worth more than zero. So it could be the case that you will have uh, some value left in those coins that you can sell off. Uh, however, the majority of the value would be in the new coins if the majority go to the new chain. Um, yeah, guys, what else? What else? Uh, so yeah, we covered how it works technically. We covered what happens if you have your funds on an exchange. And now we've also covered the price. What do you think, guys? Do you think Bitcoin blockchain will be able to hard fork in such a way that the majority of the users upgrade? Because Bitcoin is such a large blockchain nowadays. It's the biggest blockchain in the world. And um, I'm not sure how if this will go smoothly. Uh, I'm really not sure. It will be very interesting to see. And that is why people are worried about the hard fork, because we don't really know how the network uh, will react, what effect this might have. And if this doesn't go smoothly, uh, it could be the case that both of these coins will go down in value, because now the network is uh, uh, divided into several parts. And people f feel that their Bitcoins are not... Um, secure, not secure, but not as valuable because the whole network is in jeopardy because we have split into two blockchains. So you really need to be careful when a hard fork happens as a blockchain developer, for example, Bitcoin core developers, they are really careful when, when they're thinking about this. And they should be, then they should be, because making the majority of the network to upgrade could be a challenge. So we'll see how that plays out if they now decide to do a hard fork. So do you think this will work smoothly for them or do, will they have problems? Leave your comments in the comment section below, guys. And if you are a new viewer and you like blockchain, you like Bitcoin, Ethereum, you like technology as a whole, you like programming, you should definitely subscribe, guys, because you will find this channel interesting. I myself am... Uh, I'm a software developer and I post videos every single day, guys. Today we talked about what happens to your coins when a hard fork occurs. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.